he was the the ultimate survivor, or, or until today was the ultimate survivor, really in Arab politics. Um, you could point to Bashar al-Assad, but he, he's really sort of a, a newcomer to, to the scene. Salah survived a great deal. Famously, in 1978, when he became president, the CIA predicted that he wouldn't last six months. Um, he, he made it for 33 years as, as president, and he almost maneuvered his way back into power. Almost maneuvers his way back into power. Uh, Peter Salisbury, w what's your take on why his alliance crumbled with the Houthis? This was only ever a marriage of convenience. Salah's calculus, I, I believe, was that at some point he would have to split with the Houthis, but he wanted to make sure that he got the best possible deal. And the issue for him was that that deal never really came. And structurally, on the ground, what ended up happening was the Houthis did a much better job of consolidating hard power than he had anticipated. And he'd been planning for, for this moment, I think, for, for quite some time, planning his split from the Houthis, but he wasn't getting the offer, he wasn't getting the edge that he, he wanted. And, and for the, the first time, really, in, in 40 years, um, a gamble didn't pay off.